As you can see, I am here at the Ironman 70.3 World Championships in Nice, and behind me is an expo, and it would be rude not to go and have a visit and see what tech we can find. You've probably heard us mention De Boer on GTM before. Well, that was talking about their wetsuits. Well, they now have a new swim skin out, and this is the Tsunami 1.0. And first impressions, it's a little bit thicker. Well, this is apparently because it's got 36% lycra, so it does make it a bit thicker, but that also means it can have more compression, which will, in theory, help you move through the water that bit faster. And it also has a different coating on the outside and the inside, which repels water. It's C6 coating, but this is also more environmentally friendly than Tesla. Long too. Right, what have I found here? Well, I'm at the Amio stand and this is their power breather. So I'm sure they won't like me saying this, but it is a snorkel, but a very different style of snorkel. As you can see, it has two vents, so the mouthpiece here. So you breathe in through this bit, which obviously takes the air from above, but instead of blowing the air back out through the vents, the air actually comes out this little section here, and it means that the water can drip through. So that's the sort of technical side of it, but the importance or the significance of that being, obviously, as with a snorkel, the idea is you can focus on your technique because you can keep your head still and you don't need to think about your breathing and interestingly you can actually apparently get more oxygen so it's easier to use for interval type sessions because you're actually breathing the fresh air from outside as opposed to rebreathing the air that's going to be stuck in here so it really is multi-use and if you're swimming hard as well it's got a head adjust a head adjustment so you can make sure that it's securely on your head but I've just discovered a new wheel, and this is a little bit different. I'm at the incisive stand here in Nice, and these are still prototype. As you can see, this is a deep section wheel, which might look like a normal deep section wheel, but actually, this is clipped on to the basic rim. So it's all carbon and incredibly light, but when you buy a set, you can have a 30 mil deep wheel, you can have a 50, an 80, and even up to 110, and you can actually chop and, chop and change as you go. So much so, and apparently they're gonna be so easy Easy to take off that the valve isn't even left showing so that if you do need to get to your valve you just simply unclip but as I say this is a prototype at the moment so you can't actually show you here but these are going to be incredibly light and quite an exciting new invention there's some exciting news from Cervelo. I am next to their brand new P-Series bikes, which have only just been released. And the most obvious thing to me is the disc brakes. So Cervelo are no longer doing any rim brake bikes in any of their lines, so all disc brakes. Now the P-Series range right up through from the Shimano 105 mechanical up to the SRAM Red ETAP Axis. So that's where the price point changes. They're all called the P-Series. But interestingly, apparently the bike frame has been designed from the P at the front and then the S bikes at the back. Now I've been riding the Cervelo S3 in the past and I love how it handles so apparently they're taking the handling aspect of it and that's where they've combined the frame. It's also got an aero bottle here on the down tube. Now this one has got zip handlebars but they're going to be using vision for the others and as a result of that they can actually put hydration on the front as well and then finally there's a little unit here on the seat post which will allow for bottle cages to be attached behind as well. We've just stepped out of the expo and come across the road and found a lot of bikes lined up. Now this is not the transition area. These are actually bikes in transit. Well, pretty much at the end of their transit because this is Tri-Bike Transport behind me. Now they come and collect your bike from your home and bring it to the race for you without even taking it apart. So how you see it when it leaves your house is exactly how it arrives here. These are still waiting to be collected and then the athletes will literally have to just take them out of here, walk them across the road and into transition. So if you've got a lot of really lovely tech on your bike or you just love your bike and you want to make sure it gets to a race safely it's a pretty nice way to do it and i must admit i hate dismantling my bike putting it in a box and taking it out the other side and there's always that worried moment when you think has anything actually survived the journey you could take the worry out of it and i know i would absolutely love that Right, you know that at GTM we love socks, so we have just spotted these special edition Lucy Charles socks. How cool are they? A little mermaid, and then on the other side, 
Lucy's actually got her name on these socks. And if you're really lucky, you get here in time, you can actually get a signed pair. So as you can see, they've got the blue and the pink. I can't decide which ones I prefer. I might have to get both. Okay, hang on a minute. I've just found another pair of socks, and yes, you're gonna get bored, but look at these. 1,000 watts. Guess whose socks these are? Okay, here's a little hint. It is Uber biker Andy Dreitz, who's designed his own socks with sporks. And apparently, the rumor on the street, it did say 500 watts. He's changed it to 1,000. I love that. I've just come along to Gram Carbon Cycles, and I know I'm pretty strong, but have a look at this. This frame is incredibly light. Now, other than being incredibly light, I don't know much more about it. So, Gerald, if you can tell me a little bit about the background to what, what's so special about this frame, other than being light. Okay. So, so it weighs around 700 grams, depending on the size. Um, it's a full monocoque build, so it's apps all one piece. Yep. A true monocoque. And what that means is, so there's no joints. And typically where you have joints, and most bikes are made, most bike frames are made with either tube to tube or tube to lug construction, which means that every joint you have uh, some, some form of glue, some kind of reinforcement, because a joint essentially is a point of weakness. Yeah. So there's no joints, no points of weakness. And it's also extremely strong, so it's guaranteed for life. Wow, okay. Yeah. That sounds quite a big, big yeah, statement. Yeah, it's a big statement, yeah. but it's, whilst it's light, it's yeah. also extremely robust. And you're making TT and road bike frames? So yeah, so you can, we build bikes in either road configuration or TT configuration. Mm -hmm. And um, and what you can also do is buy, so what you need to do is change the seat post yeah. and the handlebars to make the change. So. You okay, can buy so a frame, it's one, it's one frame and then, and then yeah, buy them. the necessary components. Okay. Well, you might have seen in the past a swimskin from Zoot, but they just continued this and they've had a long period with that. So now they have their brand new swimskin. It's the Ultra and it is out ahead of Kona, which you might recognize from some of these designs here. Now they've paid attention to detail with this suit. You've got the silicone bits at the bottom of the legs to keep it in place. Now, apparently one of the unique features, it doesn't have a coating on, but it's still going to make you swim faster from the special nano technique that's used and as a result of that it doesn't actually wear off so as opposed to normal suits which would actually start to lose that um, ability to help you swim faster after a few wears this in theory should last much longer um, on the back here you've got a padded piece under the zip just to make it more comfortable and talking of comfort the seams on all of the junctions have just basically well they're not seamless but they're stitchless so there's no rubbing parts there and all in all it's quite a cool suit. This is the man's version and the, the women's is a pinky orange colour. All right, we've just got a sneak peek at this rather exciting new Caselli twice new. Brendan, can you talk me through this new design, please? Yeah, this is a completely new suit. It's called the PR Speed Suit. It is, has been developed for more than a year, almost uh, one and a half year. Our key athlete was in the, who was involved in the Developing process was at the beginning Cameron Wirth until Kona last year. So he was using the first prototype in Kona last year, set up a new bike course record. And in the follow up process uh, after Kona last year, we involved further athletes uh, in the development process. So Patrick Lange is using the suit right now and also Laura Philip. Okay. So these three athletes were key in developing this project. It's optimized for speeds around 45 k's an hour. Okay. Not just an average speed, but also think, think of uh, long flat sections like mm -hmm. in Kona, for example, are really fast courses or where you have some a lot of up and down, up and down with a lot of downhill, fast downhills mm -hmm. and descending. The yeah, the so most, this, this the is most, the, this is the, the most obvious, the most obvious uh, yeah. news of that this suit is this uh, speed rips on the sleeves. Okay. So this rips uh, help us to have a really really benef beneficial airflow around the, sh the the upper arm and the, the shoulder mm -hmm. section, and it uh, helps to keep the, the airflow longer attached to the body, which okay. is always better for yeah. best aerodynamics. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. There was loads more new tech in there than I expected. And some really great pieces, and especially surprising because Kona is just a few weeks away. So it's bound to be a lot more coming out then. And I know, hands up, I am guilty of being a little bit like a magpie and going to some of those bright and exciting new colors. Socks may be included. But anyway, I enjoyed myself. Hopefully you guys have too. Give us a thumbs up like if you did and hit the globe on screen to make sure you get all of our videos at GTN. And talking of socks and Lucy Charles, well, if you want to see a video we did with her looking a little bit more in detail of how she got to the level she's at now, you can find that one just down here. And if you love tech, then our most recent other tech video is just down here.